Welcome along to this week's final Ball Sports Bet Zone with me, Nigel C. on the Premier League. It's quite sad, it's quite an emotional time, and I'm delighted to say that joining me is my old mucker for the last time this season, Chris Perry, former Tottenham and Wimbledon defender. Chris, we've had you back, you've been on it, what now, 20 odd weeks, we still haven't had a winning week from you, but we've persevered. We've kept you going, we've kept you coming, and we, we can't go out without you giving us some winners. I, I weren't bad actually last time I was on, I can't remember when can't it was, but can't I can't remember what year it was, Nana. But um, I weren't bad. Really? Yeah. This is what, you, you look good or you give the winning selection? I looked fantastic. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, um, I have to disagree on that one. <laughs> but uh, Chris, I mean, it's been a funny old season, not a vintage Premier League season, has it? I mean, and everything's pretty much done and dusted apart from the bottom, but uh, I haven't been that excited by it, really. You know what? Chelsea ran away with the league. It's, it's been pretty dull watching Chelsea, certainly since Christmas. Um, Man United have been poor. The rest of the league have been poor, really. You know, City have been poor. Arsenal haven't really kicked on from last season. So it's been disappointing, I think. Now, usually, end of the season, we sit here and go back 3 3, 4 4 over goals, lots of action. The three games we're going to talk about, I think we're going to be very, very looking at totally the opposite. Let's going to start off with the uh, game Sunday, 3 o'clock. All the games are 3 o'clock this weekend. Chelsea against Sunday. They've got this live on television. I don't know why. I can see Chelsea be crowned the champion. Sunday will be safe after that 0-0 um, draw. And Arsenal will mean nothing to play for three either side. Chelsea are hurting after the 3-0 defeat by West Brom. That's their first defeat in 19 matches. Sunday coming on emotional low. I was imagining emotional high, I suppose, on the back of the 0-0 uh, draw. But it could be the only way to come down this game. What do you well, Chelsea unbeaten at home in the league this season. Sunderland, um, not great away from home. I can't see anything but a Chelsea win now, particularly now Sunderland are safe. You know, I think they'll switch off. They'll be in party mode. And, and I see Chelsea winning this game comfortably. But Chelsea are going to be in party mode as well. They're going to be Chelsea, the not, Yeah, but I think that's when you can maybe put on a little bit, bit of a performance. You know, your players like Hazard and players like that are... are going to maybe show up. It may be even Quadrado might turn up this week. You never know. Quadrado mm, well, might turn up. Well, that's what Chris <laughs> saying here. I disagree with that one as well. Uh, Sunderland's, if you look at Sunderland's game, not really excited. They've got it very dourly. Their last two matches have been nil-nil. Uh, six of the last eight games Sunderland have been played is under two and a half goals. So we don't really think we're going to see lots of goals. No, I, 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 th I think Chelsea will win this game to nil. I think Chelsea win to nil at 11 to 10 is a decent bet. Chelsea love a little 2 0 result at home. 2 0 to Chelsea is 11 to 2. Last season, Sunderland won this game 2 1. If you went back and again, you get 17 to 2 for your money. Chelsea are 1 to 3, and the draw is a 4 to 1 shot. Uh, Sunderland's, like I say, they won twice in the last four seasons, though. They won 3 0 as well. And Chelsea drew 0 0 last season in the final game with Norwich. They did, yeah, and they, they switched off, but they, I mean, they weren't champions then, and, and they weren't beaten. 3-0 on Monday night which I think will, will make Mourinho hurt and he, I don't. I think the players will be hurt by that and I think they'll come out and they'll put on a performance Well I'm going to similar kind of thing to you I'm not going to go for Chelsea to win to nil so I do think a nil-nil uh, draw is a big runner here for no goal scorer I'm going to go for Chelsea to keep a clean sheet at 20-21 to 21. I just can't see Sunderland scoring it. They, they've done everything to to score and I think the thing is here Sunderland will not score in this game uh, Double bubble remember the last weekend of the Premier League season this weekend if your first goal score winning selection scores inside the opening 20 minutes Ball Sports will double the odds on that play in each and every one of the Premier League games this weekend. Who's your thoughts of double bubble? Well, John Terry scored three, goal, three goals against Sunderland in his career. He hasn't scored that many against many other teams, so I'm going for John Terry at 14-1. Uh, to one. Well, I like that. We had a double bubble up a couple of weeks ago with John Terry scoring the first goal, and he's going to go up and pick up the trophy and maybe doing it with the winning goal. But I do think that Chelsea, to keep a clean sheet here, at just a little bit under even money is the best bet of the weekend, or one of the best bets of the weekend, and it's part one of my enhanced treble with ball sports. OK, let's move on to the other game of three o'clock. Hull against Manchester United. Steve Bruce up against his former side. Nothing but a win will do for Hull. They're 21 to 10 to get the win. Manchester United are 23 to 20 to win the match here and 5 to 2 the draw. Steve Bruce has never, ever beaten his former club as a manager. Will it end now? <laughs> no, it won't. Um... Man United have won all seven Premier League meetings between these two, scoring 21 and only conceding seven. Hull have lost their last 10 games against United. Their last victory was in 1974. So it's hard to make a case for Hull to win the game. I, I think it'll be a draw. I think Man United aren't in great form. You know, they've only won one of their last five in the Premier League. So. I think a draw is probably the best shout here. Now, if you see some of the videos on Twitter and other social media sites of the Manchester United end of season party, you would think that Man United may be coming in with some sore heads for this game. 
That I think that was on Tuesday night, though, wasn't it? So they should have recovered by Sunday, I'd imagine. Days. It takes me three days. Oh, well, that is five, five for them. Oh, the, They're younger as well than you, aren't they? Okay, well, one about the manager. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let me look at, Hull played very well, I thought. They played very well against Tottenham, played very well against Burnley, didn't get the results, hit the bar a couple of times. I think they might get something from this one. Uh, only two wins in their last 11 matches. That's the big problem for them. Eight of those last 11 games have seen under two and a half goals in Hull games. Uh, Man United eased to win this match uh, and the reverse fixture at Old Trafford 3 0. Fixture usually saw, sees goals though 34 goals scored in the last nine matches do you fancy goals? I do fancy there to be goals in this one actually oh, I think this will be a one-all draw one-all draw for Chris I'm going to go for Hull to win this I think there's something about this I think this goes all the way down to the wire West Man United nothing to play for if Arsenal are 2 or 3 nil up against uh, West Brom at the Emirates it's a different kind of game I think you're going to keep an eye on one eye on that I think, I think it's finished they're not going to finish it in third place Man United they're not going to Turn over nothing seven goals, for. are they? Nothing, nothing to, play to play for at all, no. So I think, if, I tell you what, I just think this will be great, more of an opportunity to get with Hull for me. I think this is a golden way going down to the wire, and I fancy Hull to win something. That's part two of my treble. Uh, double bubble, who you looked at here? Double bubble here. I'm going for another centre back, actually. Michael Dawson, the skipper, I think he needs to step up, uh, and maybe he will do. 33 to 1. 33 to 1. Juicy prices ending on a high but also ending in the inevitable, losing money when Chris Perry tips you up. Uh, let's have a go to Newcastle against West Ham. Absolute turmoil at Newcastle. Who on earth would have thought Newcastle are 8-11 to 11 or 7-10 to 10 now to win a football match? The money's coming for Newcastle. It's absolutely ridiculous. The world has gone mad, but they are playing West Ham. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, West Ham certainly not in a great run of form. Won just two of their last 15 Premier League games. They haven't won away since the 2nd of December. It's difficult to make a case for West Ham to win, but I, I do think they'll get a draw. I don't think Newcastle are good enough themselves to, to win a game. Motivation of a big Sam Allardyce going back to his former club, who sacked him, and this could be his last club in the game for his club, who looked like he's going to get the sack here as well. So where, where's his, where's his uh, allegiance? I think he, he definitely won't want to lose this game. That's, that's for sure. He will send West Ham out not to lose this game. It's hard to see anyone scoring goals here, though. I mean, West Ham don't score a lot of goals at the moment. Newcastle are struggling big time. Under two and a half at six to five is a great bet here. Under two and a half, six to five, I like that as well. West Ham only two wins in their last 16 matches. That's a big problem for you if you're taking the seven to two. West Ham won this game one 0 early in the season at the bowling ground, but their form has gone uh, completely since then. And I won't. Uh, well, yes, one thing about this game, it's going to be very interesting in running, isn't it? You know, the ball sports pumps will be playing in running yeah. here. Uh, if, for example, Hull are two 0 down, then Newcastle could lose this game. Hull are one 0 up. It's it's all to Absolutely, do. Absolutely. And that yeah. crowd at Newcastle is, is that a positive or a negative on the game? Like this. I think it's, it's a it's a positive if they if they're playing well and if they do if they can urge him on and get an early goal. For instance, Ayosi Perez, first goal scorer, is, is mine for the double bubble nine to two. He scored in the last two home games. You know, if they can urge him to get an early goal, then it's going to be great. But if it does get anxious and Hull take the lead and, and they're 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 losing for, perhaps, then the crowd could get on their back easily. A very interesting afternoon at the bottom. And remember, all these prices will be updated in running. And I think it's going to be fascinating to see how the bookies at Ball Sports react if goals going at Hull and goals going at Newcastle. One thing's certain, this is going to go all the way down to the wire. Now, those three games at the bottom of the table to see who stays in the Premier League. The biggest game, probably the biggest game in football, the biggest game of the weekend is on Bank Holiday Monday. It's the Championship playoff. Middlesbrough against Norwich at Wembley. Uh, bookies make Norwich favourites here, but Middlesbrough have done the double over them. Uh, but this season and Norwich haven't even scored Chris and I know you like Norwich for this one I do I just I just think I know um, Norwich's only loss in the last 13 games was to Borough Borough have done the double scored five conceded none but I just think Norwich will get this right you know they, they've had momentum coming into the into the playoffs they were the team that nearly made automatic promotion I think I think they'll turn it around now, Alex Neal has been incredible since he arrived at Carroll and lost twice in the 21 games he's had in charge one of them was against winners but haven't lost away from home so it shows you the sort of counter-attacking football they yeah. play good or they've got the best squad haven't they as well in this division they should have they kept managed to keep most of the players from the Premier League last season you know um, funnily enough they, they've their forwards I mean Cameron Jerome scored a lot of goals but he's struggled over the last few games um, Bradley Johnson for me is, is an absolutely great bet you know he's got five in his last seven games from, from central midfield you can get him at 12 to 1 for first goal scorer here. Mm. Buddy Johnson, 12 to 1. Johnny House would be the man I like. He scores very, very important goals. But well, one bet for me here, I think both teams will score. Both teams have scored in the last four Norwich games. They haven't scored in either. Both teams haven't scored in the both matches this season. But I think in playoff games, especially the championship playoff, you usually get quite an entertaining game. I have you played in a playoff final? I have, yeah. I unfortunately lost 1 0 to Derby, yeah. 
One we of the one of the less scoring ones. Too. We didn't go in the both teams because you were there. the rash was at the <laughs> back. The rash was all over him. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, so both teams to score is my third part of my treble this week with Boar Sports, and here it is. If you haven't catched it already, it's Chelsea to keep a clean sheet against Sunderland. I like that a lot. Hull to beat Man United. I think they're going to get something here. I think Steve Bruce will get a reaction. The last two matches, I don't think they, they didn't get what the performances deserve, and I think they'll beat a Man United side who will ring the changes in this game. And both teams to score yes in the playoffs in Middlesbrough Green Norwich and. That pays 11 to 1 to end the season on a very, very juicy high. Chris, what's your banker this weekend? My banker is Chelsea win to nil, 11 to 10. Chelsea to win to nil for Chris. Uh, Chris, thank you very much. As always, been a pleasure it's having you on the show all the way through the show. Sorry about the, the, the selections, but uh, you know, well, we've all we, got we can only get better, right? We can only get better. As D Ream says, things can <laughs> only get better. That's been the Ball Sports Bet Zone. I hope you've enjoyed this season. We'll be back next week with the FA Cup preview. We're not going anywhere. We've still got Champions League and some Euro 2016 qualifiers to come along. See you all soon.